so Slam is actually gonna put the exhaust on her bike. That was about the only last little touch kind of to make it complete. So that should kind of give it a complete overhaul. So what she's actually done is she sent off her exhaust and she actually picked up a damn moto exhaust and sent it to Jet Hot to get coated. So now it's gonna be a satin black finish and also sent off the ECU to be tuned by Rexer. And it's a little, it's a shop up in Virginia, but they're supposed to be like clutch with um, tuning Ducatis. So sent that off because it runs lean from the factory. So it's kind of like a, if you do one, you need to do the other. So we're gonna hopefully install some exhaust today as well as get the ECU back on here. So as far as new parts go, what we've actually done is taken the stock exhaust off and had it, sent it to Jet Hot and had it ceramic coated in this satin black finish. Not only will it look good, but it'll also reduce a little bit of heat. So, and then we got our Dan Moto pipes over here just to slip on. And then we'll reinstall our ECU. So we've already got the bike torn apart where we sent the parts off. So luckily, Jet Hot's actually local, semi-local. It's out in Burlington, North Carolina. So I was able to drop the, the parts off and they have a really cool shop. So I would recommend checking them out. So they do great work. All right, to get us started, we're gonna start from this top piece and it should just slide in. You gotta start somewhere, so. And I'm gonna try to be easy as far as trying not to scratch the coating. It should just kinda sit in there like that until we get to start piecing the rest of it together. Um, we should be able to put the first spring in and that should kind of hold it together. So, kind of a little recommendation, we took pictures and labeled all of our springs. That way, we might actually, because they're silver springs, so we might actually go back and kind of maybe paint these or get them, get black springs or something later down the road, but for now we're just going to use the stock. <laughs> That should hold that in place so that we can finagle. We'll start on the front down here. Now, I was actually really shocked at the fact that there's no exhaust gaskets on this bike. Everything just kind of holds together with springs. So just a little update, we've got we've gotten this far. So this is all the just all the stock stuff that we've taken off. And so then the new slip on, we'll have to figure that out, but it'll just slide on there. But so far everything is just stock. The only problem we're having is with this O2 sensor, when I'm trying to thread it in, it's not like the nut on it isn't actually turning. So I'm gonna have to do some figuring on that. But so far so good. I mean it's not really too difficult. A few springs and two bolts, that's it. So it's just this O2 sensor, which that's what fought us coming off the bike. So of course it's gonna fight us going back on. But that's what we're trying to figure out now. So we got the O2 sensor on. I just don't like the fact that like, so when, you, when you're turning the nut on it, it's just, it's twisting up these wires. I mean, I don't know how much it matters because we've actually, with the Rexer tuner, we've actually got that tuned. Like the O2 sensors eliminated, essentially. But I guess it's okay. I don't know, we'll move on. Now the fun part is trying to figure out how to put the new exhaust on it, because that we've never touched before. So we're just gonna connect. So this is the new Dan Moto piece that connects to the exhaust. 
or to the slip on. So we'll just go ahead and put this on there. Now we have some options though. So I've seen people mount the slip on one of two ways. I've seen people mount it like this, where it kind of matches the curve of the swing arm. Or I think this is kind of the way it was designed to sit like that. But supposedly you can mount it either way. So we just got to determine which one we like best. And then we'll mount her up. So the damn moto piece comes with this little bracket. So what you're actually going to do is in the stock location, there's kind of like a push in washer. So that is going to sit in there. So I just pop that out. Of course now it's not going to come out. There it goes. So use this. So I'll pop that stock washer out and then I'll put the bracket up there and then just shove this washer. Well, let's do it like this off the, there. So, and then that way it'll slide through. Now you've got your bracket that the new exhaust piece will fit through. And then the damn moto piece comes with this little Allen bolt or Allen screw. And it's got a nut on the backside. So then we'll get our bracket on there. And that way we can finagle our new exhaust piece where it's supposed to go. She wants to mount it the actual way that I guess it was technically intended. So like that. I'm gonna get this in place, put all the springs, and then try to line the brackets up at the last second. Although I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this one up a little bit while I got all this room, because there's a lock washer on the back. Make sure everything's tight. The only thing really holding this bad boy together are springs and that, that's majority of it. Because our, yeah, spring here, spring here, spring here, two springs, spring. So there was no bolts. The only, we had the studs sticking out here, which the one side is definitely tight. It's hard to get a wrench on this side. Our O2 sensor, just our little heat shield. And then our brackets were the only real thing. Everything else just kind of slipped to, slipped together. So as long as these springs are tight, which they are, we shouldn't have any exhaust leaks. So we'll double check everything and then try to fire it up. So the last piece of the puzzle is the newly tuned ECU. And so it has like these little weird rubber nipple posts. And that's all you do is just slide. There's four open holes and you just slide them through the little nipples and that's what holds it together. So taking them off is the exact same way as putting it on. I mean, you just rip it. <laughs> rip the nipples! Oh my god! <laughs> All right, so that's all that holds it in. It's just these four, four things, and then we'll just plug it back in. All right, Slam's gonna start her up for the first time. Let's wake the neighbors at noon. At <laughs> noon.
So after your first official ride, how do you feel? I love it. Um, it sounds really great. It looks really great. I won't be confused for a moped, so. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> I love it. I'm in love with it now. And again, it's one of those things where you need, it kind of goes hand in hand, so don't just buy a slip-on. Buy the, buy a tune, whether it be a Power Commander, send it to Rexer, get a dyno tuned, but actually after driving it, it feels a whole lot better. Got rid of a little bit of the twitchiness, and it just, whether it's the butt dyno telling you one thing, but it just, it feels better, it sounds better, obviously, and looks a whole lot better. It sounds amazing. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Appreciate it, like, subscribe. Have a good one.